Hello and welcome to Quarantine with Svetlana. So I'm gonna share some top tips with you today because we are on like day two quarantine here in Marbella and everybody's stuck in their house. Now, I'm gonna do a few tips to stop you from going completely mental in this time, yeah? Number one, what you can do. If you have to go to supermarkets and it's not too late for you, make sure you have a proper list of what you think you're gonna need, yeah? Because I made a mistake already of uh, panic buying lots of snacks and then panic eating those snacks within the first day. So now I have no snacks left. Luckily I have a full bar behind me because that's gonna come in very useful. Uh, but make sure you stock up on everything that you need, yeah? If you can buy it. Number two, if you are stuck at home with your kids and you have kids, Man, I'm sorry for you, yeah, but uh, if you're like a kind of parent that uh, doesn't like so much the kids to watch too much TV or the video games, fuck that, yeah. Put those kids in front of the TV, buy them the video games, like the better they can do, the more they can do that, the better for your mental health, yeah, because otherwise you're gonna go insane. Number three, what you can do, stop watching the news is not gonna help you yeah we all know what's happening we all know how bad it is it's very tragic it's very sad by you sitting in your house freaking yourself out watching the news and then sharing the news with all of your friends who are trying to stay calm is actually very selfish you need to stop doing it the more people that are spreading humor and laughter and this kind of thing even though it's not funny any of this stuff that's happening but you cannot lose your sense of humor right now because shit's gonna get really dark really soon and that might be the only thing that you have left so thank you to all the people who are sending hilarious videos about this craziness yeah then what you gonna do ah this is going out to all the hippies, yeah, because uh, those of you who know, my favorite sport is the hippie hunting. And right now I have a lot of hippies uh, in my mind because I can imagine that uh, they're at home, <clears throat> they're using their organic products and uh, soap made from tree bark. And I'm gonna say to you, go and buy some real soap, yeah? Go to the shop, go and buy some chemical sprays, yeah, for cleaning all the surfaces in your house, real soap for washing your hands, yeah, no time now for being organic and hippie. Then, what you gonna do? You're going to, ah, yes, you're going to uh, look out for your neighbors, yeah? Because if you have old lady who living next door and you're in your house having a little party with all your food and she's starving and she cannot go to the supermarket, you might wanna check in with her if she need anything, yeah? This is time, the time not to be hoarding your stuff and trying to help others, yeah? Then, what you gonna do? You need to maybe use this time to learn something new, yeah? You have all this time in your house, what are you gonna do? Just sit on Facebook all day long? No! Why don't you learn something new, like, I don't know, a language for the country that you're gonna have to flee to very soon? Now, that's my tips for you today. I will have more to come as the days go on, we will see how this goes. But uh, the last thing, this is super important, if they tell you to stay at home, please. Stay the fuck at home, yeah, because it's not about you. I don't care for the people who are oh, missing my running, I'm missing my walking. No, it's not about you and your young, healthy thing. It's like we're trying to stop this spreading so all the old people don't die. And that could be your parents next, yeah? So please, stay home if that's what they're telling you to do. And I'm going to do other video on the most sanitary things that you can do because I'm germaphobe, so this is like how I live my life every day anyway. So thank you so much for li listening. Enjoy your quarantines and... Uh, Hope you get through. Have a good day.